All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is going to go on my second channel because this video is not very professional. It's very quick. I haven't done this before. This is the first time. So if you go to the menu settings about phone and you keep tapping on build number, it'll say like three, two, one, you are now a developer. Go on the developer options and then enable advanced reboot. Once you do hold down the power button and choose your reboot, it'll say reboot, recovery, and bootloader. Choose bootloader and then you'll see this mode right here, which is fast boot. Really hard to see, just tiny little signage of my guy. And we also have this thing that we downloaded called Oppo 64. I will I will show you this is the thread that we got it from right here. So it's Alex I N T H I. Anyways, let's double click on it and then see what happens. We're gonna go ahead and send it to our desktop. And just in case it creates like a whole bunch of files on our desktop, we're gonna name one plus and then okay extract now it might create a folder inside that folder but i just wanted to, didn't want it to create like a whole bunch of files all over the desktop so here we go that's done on our desktop here yeah it would have created a folder called oppo so you didn't have to actually you could have just chose desktop without creating a folder and then we're going to run it as the administrator and it might pop up, oh, allow, just allow it. Uh, we are in bootloader mode, but you could choose reboot device and go there. So it so it popped up that right there, and we'll try that one more time. Let's give me, I'm gonna turn down my speakers, that's really loud. So the device is not listed. Um, install recovery, let's do twerp. And wait, we might need to unlock the bootloader. Make sure the device is in fast boot mode. That's what I was talking about earlier. It is in fast boot mode. It looks like it rebooted it, so I don't know what it's gonna be doing right now. This is this is exactly why this is a record with my HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. Upload it to my <laughs> second channel, and go from there. I don't know what it's doing now. I have no idea. And you're also gonna get a good idea of how long this takes. It shouldn't take long. I I didn't know that these like don't come pre-rooted. They <laughs> you have to do that yourself. So I, I had no clue. People are saying that when you do this it doesn't uh, doesn't wipe it, so we're gonna see. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Gotta have root. I don't care. If it's custom ROM or not. Still gotta have root. I mean, without root, it's just Android isn't Android without root. It's, it's not. <laughs> so far, I, I do like the phone. And in fact, we sold our S5 last night. The locked bootloader AT&T S5 sold it last night for more than what we bought this phone for. And we, and we bought it on contract too. So I did reset the phone, it looks like. Yeah, we gotta go through all this and stuff, so. All right, boot to fast boot. I wonder if it'll let me do it. Okay, so I need to just go ahead and skip all this for now. Skip, 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 skip. Next, 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 next. All right. And then... We will go to settings, and then we will go to about, and we will go to build number. This is what I was saying in the beginning. So back, developer options, advanced reboot, and then you can also choose Android debugging. And now this should boot us to fast boot. It didn't work earlier because we didn't have debugging enabled. If it doesn't work, we can tell it to go to fast boot manually. Or how about we unplug it? And then plug it back in. We oh we have to authorize the computer. Duh. It hasn't popped up a little thing. We'll display that. Attach devices. What what is going on here? Okay, so the drivers seem like it's messing up. Let's go to reboot. And we'll choose bootloader and we'll hit OK. 
Alright. Don't know why it's... Don't know why it's messing up, man. What does it say on the thread? This is not even... This isn't even a how-to. This is just me rooting it. If I can figure it out. Oh, there is a video on how to do it by TK, so... Someone that's actually doing it properly. Oh, now it's showing the device up here, so we might be working now. This is terrible. This is the worst video ever. This Booting to fast food isn't working. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go to developer. Let's troubleshoot this. So maybe you can troubleshoot too. Developer options. And then... Revoke USB debugging authorizes authorized. Plug it back in. I'm supposed to get a little thing pop up saying, do you want to authorize this? But for some reason, it's not working. Okay. Let's turn off debugging. Turn it back on. Revoke authorizations. Then it's got to be a driver issue. So go to the computer here. And go to manage. And then go to device manager. And that's it right there. Okay, so we're having driver issues. Okay, we're going to do this manually. We'll turn it off. And then it says... Volume up and power. All right, it's in fast boot mode. So now, plug it in. It's not giving us an error. It is in fast boot, so it's picking that up. Now the toolkit should install twerp flash. Awesome, so now we have twerp installed. Very, very cool. Let's reboot to recovery. You could push the root button to root it. Copy the SuperSU. I already have SuperSU on there. You would just take this and send it to your phone. But we already have it on the internal storage. I have the latest 202. So let's reboot this thing into recovery. Nice. Look at that. We are now in recovery. Let's go to install. And then that SuperSU zip will be in there. Oh, it reset it. Dead gummit. All right, can we mount advanced? All right, we can do ADB side load and let's just reboot it for the super ish SU. It's not installed. Okay, cool. So we can go ahead and do that, but let's hit do not install. Because <laughs> we don't want to do it that way. And also, I'm going to I'm gonna get you to download the very latest Super SU. Super SU. And then go to the XDA thread. And then go down here to where you see CWM Twerp Mobile Odin. Install that. Download it. And then we're going to show in folder. And then when this boots up, it should show our phone. Oh, the drivers weren't working right. Oh, okay, well, it is showing it. So maybe we'll be able to send it to... 
Okay, right there, A0001. So sending to, and now we can choose the power button and reboot. Oh, it's, oh my goodness. Oh, I wish it hadn't reset the phone. That's annoying. Developer options, advanced reboot, and then reboot to recovery. So you could, like it said, you can copy the file over there, but we're going to be doing 202, the latest version. I don't want to go to an older version like that. It's the only thing different from the toolkit that I'm suggesting you do. This is taking a minute. We're almost done here. We're, it is, we're, yeah, we got twerp installed, so now we can have things flash in recovery so we will install and now see look at this right there 202 swipe to confirm flash bada bang bada boom it's rebooted so reboot the system we'll get a little thing that says android is upgrading because there'll be a new app in your app drawer called super su and that will give you your root So hopefully you're running into the same issues I was with everything, and hopefully this video helped you out just a little bit, or a lot, or something. I don't know. Android is upgrading. Sweet. Now if we go to our app drawer, and this, this shouldn't take long, we have Super SU. Very nice. It'll ask you, it might ask you about installing a thing to keep it from going to nightlies and stuff. But also, I recommend unchecking reauthentication. Uh, basically, anytime Titanium Backup or any root app has an update, it'll have to re ask for root permission. So, if you leave that unchecked, then you won't have that issue. But sometimes, if you uninstall an app, it will keep the root permission in the apps. You'll see like Titanium Backup, but it won't have an icon next to it, it'll just be text. You'll need to click on it and choose forget if that happens and then reinstall the app and grant it root access. But yeah, this was eventually how to root it, your OnePlus One. So you can install uh, Titanium Backup. Let's go ahead and do that now actually to show you that we do have root. Uh, no thanks. Okay, Titanium um, Backup. Oops, I totally messed that up. There we go, titanium backup. And then you go to the matrixrewriter.com. This is if you're not installing it from the Play Store. I just want to show you that we have root. And you'll zoom in here where it says for download, and you'll press on that, and then OK. And oh, yeah, we'll also have to do the security and then choose unknown sources. And that's what I choose right there, those things. Now I can press on it when it's done downloading. And then next, 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 install. And then open. Bada bang, bada boom. One plus one is now rooted. Grant it root permission. Okay. Okay. I'm absolutely loving how much storage this phone has. This is insane. Look at that. That's all apps. So like if you go to settings and then you go to apps, you've got so much freaking storage. You can install all the biggest games, most wanted, Asphalt, Real Racing. You can install so many games. That Snapdragon 801, the 3 gigs of RAM, that 64 gigs of storage. I'm, I, if you can get an invite, I don't have one. I bought the phone used. If you can get an invite, freaking do it. It's awesome. That's it. This is what would Josh do. This is my second channel. I am out.